This video is a demonstration of the Exchange Client Configuration Wizard. I'm now going to use the Networker Management Console 8.0 Wizards to create a client for Exchange 2010 Backup. I have a couple different options. One is I can do Net New from the left pane, or I can create a client from an existing client by selecting that client, the Configuration window, and New. The name of the client will automatically be populated. Networker will now go out to the application client and collect the information about the applications running on that client. I have two options for deduplication. One is data domain and the other is Abamar. For this I'm going to choose data domain which will provide me with granular level recoveries. Networker will now go and continue to gather information on the exchange environment. Networker has identified one Exchange server with multiple databases. For the purpose of this demo, we're only going to back up one database. We now enter the alternate path. The alternate path is the location of where the snapshot will be mounted. And this is also used for the consistency check. We have the option to do passive active or passive and active backups. We're choosing to do both. A couple of other options available is to run a consistency check during the backup, to throttle the I.O. or run in sequential mode, which means the ESE util will run in a single threaded mode. Defining the client properties includes the browse policy, the retention policy, adding a comment to the client name, and we will leave the remote access blank. The next step is to add the client to a group. You can have the wizard create a new group or you can add the client to an existing group. I'm choosing to add to an existing group. We have the ability to choose whether or not we want to use a storage node during the backup and the recovery. For this demo, I'm choosing to back up and restore through the same storage node. The next screen shown within the wizard is the summary screen. This is going to show all the parameters that were defined during the creation of the wizard. It also includes all of the application information required to make that backup successful. We now select create and the client will be created. In this video, I demonstrated how easy it is to create an exchange client through the Networker Management Console version 8.0 using the configuration wizard.